I'd love to just know what was your initial reaction to seeing that arrest footage? So, you know, the, the footage was um, alarming. You know, no one ever wants to see that. And me in particular, I have a 23-year-old son, so it was deeply personal. But we're really pleased as a company where we are now, uh, where we plan to take the company from here. So it's only onward from here. So here today, you're reaching out to Opportunity Youth. So those are young people, 16 to 24, who are not working and they're not currently in school. And there are 4.6 million of them across the country. Why is that an important commitment that Starbucks has made to hire and recruit these people? This is a really important commitment. It begins our conversation about who do we want to employ in our stores, and we want to give everyone that first chance, and they need these opportunities. This is the part of our country and our nation that usually gets forgotten about, and we don't want that to happen. And when we hire these young individuals, they stay with us longer, they promote sooner than the rest of our hires, and we're just proud to have them as part of our family. Absolutely. Do you have any sense yet? if what happened in Philadelphia will impact the company's ability to hire for better or for worse. Some people say Starbucks had, did, had done a really nice job yes. in kind of handling the fallout and taking action to right this wrong. Do you think it will be a positive or a negative when it comes to hiring or recruiting? If this is any example, this is one of our largest opportunity fairs. We have more than 5,000 applicants here today, and we have partners from other companies here joining us. So if this is any indication, we don't think there's any problems. We talk a lot about skilled labor and the skills gap in particular on CNBC, and we see it, companies of all sizes, they struggle to find the right workers to fill those positions. Is that something that Starbucks sees when you're trying to find the right people to hire and bring on board? So, you know, it's so funny. Our brand is so amazing. And, you know, your first job with us, you come in and you train as a barista and then have the opportunity to move up in the company. And we have so many examples of people who have started out in the very beginning in their careers with us and have done extremely well. I want to talk a little bit about corporate diversity. You're on yes. one of the most diverse boards in corporate America today, and your fellow board member, Melody yes. Hobson, did talk about needing more yes. corporate Kaepernicks. Who's going to be the corporate Kaepernick and stand up and say, we need more diversity at top leadership positions? Why is that a critical mission for companies across the board? Why do we need more diversity and leadership? And is it critical to the success of a company? It's absolutely critical. I mean, there's been studies that have been done that shows that more diverse boards produce better financial results. I can tell you our board is a board that embraces our conversations. They're very, very, very forthcoming. Um, we have open and honest, direct communications about what's happening in the company. And it starts because we are diverse. Diverse in thought, diverse in race, diverse in gender, and that makes the conversation so much richer. It makes us a better company. Do you think beyond Starbucks progress is being made and enough progress is being made to have more voices and more people at the table? You know, we love to challenge other people. We love to lead by example. That's how this, this whole company was started. And so if you can see the success that we've had growing this company in a short number of years, in my opinion, to over $20 billion in sales. I mean, it's the kind of thing that everyone dreams to have happen. So let us be the example of what diversity looks like. Last question for you. What was the biggest takeaway for Starbucks in this fallout and the aftermath of what happened in Philadelphia? Biggest lesson for the company moving forward? You know, actually, this wasn't one of our best moments. But one thing that I can tell you personally is that I'm so proud that this company already had such a great foundation and we have the ability to start a national conversation. And that's what we plan to do in this respect, is to not let the work stop just here at Starbucks. We want to partner with other companies. We want to improve things in the city of Philadelphia. And we're, we're very optimistic about that. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.